Before we start, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you're enjoying this content and would like to stay up to date with new episodes, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and turn the notifications button on. And if you'd like to support this content, then I would appreciate a review or comment if you're listening to this on a podcast platform. Enjoy. We all know that prayers and being in a state of gratitude during this month and even beyond is extremely important. And yes, we hear about gratitude all the time and the importance of this act in our life. But what does gratitude really mean? And in this episode, I'm hoping to cover the benefits of gratitude from a scientific perspective and not only a psychological one, to just add some perspective to people. Welcome to a new season of the One Day Podcast. I'm your host, Omar Al-Majali, and each week I'm here to discuss powerful concepts around business, mindset, or life, and often share the stage with some of the brightest and most interesting minds of the Middle East to help me do so. Happy to have you here. Enjoy this one. Ramadan Kareem, we praise you for all the health and health, everyone. Welcome to this special Ramadan episode. And with this month of the Ruhaniyat, and it's a spiritual month, I thought I will cover social entrepreneurship endeavors for um, the episodes that um, I host guests in. And for solo episodes, I thought I'll go into more life and universal topics versus uh, focus on particular business themes or strategies, just to stay on theme and uh, be mindful and, and, and spiritual uh, with, with this month. So the topic of today's episode is gratitude. We all know that prayers and being in a state of gratitude during this month and even beyond is extremely important. And yes, we hear about gratitude all the time and the importance of this act in our life. But what does gratitude really mean? And in this episode, I'm hoping to cover the benefits of gratitude from a scientific perspective and not only a psychological one, to just add some perspective to people. عشان بنضل نسمع إن الواحد لازم يكون دائما ممتن الواحد لازم يشكر ربه على كل النعم بس شو هي فوائد إن الواحد يكون ممتن إذا إذا هاي شغلة منسويها كل يوم هل بتأثر بحياتنا? Because gratitude does have some positive biochemical physiological effects on our bodies, and it's not not only about thinking positively or hoping for the best. The impact of gratitude is much more powerful than that. But before we talk about the benefits of gratitude, let's define what being grateful really means. From a high level sense, the definition of grateful is being thankful or being in a state of appreciation uh, for things around you. You can feel and express the gratitude in multiple ways. You can apply it to your past, you know, looking back at some great memories, looking back at some elements of your childhood and being grateful for that. You could be grateful in your present, counting your current blessings, or you could be grateful for your future, meaning maintaining a hopeful or an optimistic view on the future and, and, and what's, what's to come your way. Being grateful as a concept is not a new notion. This act has always been emphasized in ancient philosophies and cultures and in religion. But science is just catching up for why this element is an important aspect of our lives, why we should essentially maintain it and make it a habit. Positive psychology and mental health researches in the past few decades have established an overwhelming connection between gratitude and good health. Keeping a gratitude journal has proven over and over and over again to cause less stress, improve quality of sleep for people, build emotional awareness, and resilience. But why? Let's dig deeper and talk about the gratitude and the connection of that to our brain and to our bodies. For one, gratitude is actually a natural antidepressant. The effects of gratitude when practiced daily can be almost similar to medications. When we express gratitude and receive gratitude or we are told thank you, um, our brain releases dopamine and serotonin, which are two crucial neurotransmitters or chemicals in our body that are responsible for feeling good and making us feel relaxed. They enhance our mood immediately and, and, and we are put at ease. It's no surprise then that as per certain medical studies, patients who spend more time experiencing gratitude through keeping a gratitude journal experience less aches and less pain 
than those patients who don't. And that's because of the high level of dopamine running in their body. Gratitude also helps in handling stressful situations. Significant studies over the years have established the fact that by practicing gratitude, we can handle stress better than others. And the reason for that is because those who experience or, or, or are in a state of gratitude uh, versus others tend to have low levels of cortisol in their body. And cortisol is the stress hormone, hormone that we have that is associated with fight or flight. Um, and if we have high levels of cortisol in our bodies for a long period of time, that can cause us fatigue, sensitivity, irritability, or bad mood, basically making us more reactive and less rational when dealing with stressful situations. And that's why having a habit of being in a state of gratitude can essentially help you become more aware and more mindful when dealing with stressful situations because your body is in a state to um, react more neutrally. Because of the reasons I have just mentioned and the implications of gratitude and anxiety and stress reduction, practices like journaling are now a significant part of any mental health program, any life coaching intervention. Uh, most therapists today would recommend people to journal or to keep a gratitude journal because of all of these reasons that I have mentioned about. So now that we have talked about the meaning of gratitude and the science of gratitude and its benefits on our bodies, let's talk about the hows. Some are obvious and others might be new to you, but these are some of the things that I do or some of the things that I have come across and I thought might be useful to share. So we just mentioned keeping a gratitude journal. It might sound cliche, it might sound simple, but the impact of journaling and gratitude journaling has proven to be extremely impactful if done over a long period of time. Secondly, make it a habit to express gratitude during your prayers or meditations, or maybe before you go to bed, or first thing when you wake up in the morning. Basically, find some sort of a ritual where a gratitude can become a, a normal and, and a habitual aspect of your day. And the important thing to mention here before we move on to uh, the third point is the feeling of gratitude. It's very important that whenever you express gratitude or whenever you are journaling about gratitude, that you actually feel it and not think about it, but feel it because it's the feeling that releases the serotonin and the dopamine. The more we intellectualize the process of what it feels like to be grateful, the less it's impactful the more we actually feel grateful for the things and not only write them down and be mechanical about it, the more it actually would impact um, us and would impact our bodies. Thirdly, and one of my personal favorite things that I actually do is listening to gratitude guided meditations online. There are thousands and hundreds of resources online and on YouTube. Choose one that you like the most Make it a morning or a night habit. This could be a five minute guided meditation or a 20 or a 30 minute guided meditation, whatever works with your lifestyle, find something, make it a habit and stick to it for a long period of time and just notice the impact that that could have on you. Finally, express your thank yous to your friends, to your colleagues, to your family members, either do it through an anonymous note or actually express it in the moment uh, for the little things that they do for you. And I know it's sometimes hard for us to do that, especially men in our region, it's hard for us to express our emotions or be vulnerable because it's perceived as not being very masculine. But I think it's worth sometimes going out of our way to show gratitude to the people around us. These are some tips and ideas around how you could adopt a habit of being mindful and being grateful. Uh, but just remember one thing that the effects of practicing gratitude will not be immediate and they don't just appear magically. This is a long-term process that once you start it and if it becomes a habit of yours, then it will continue to have a positive impact on your, uh, on your psyche and on you physically for years to come. So it's a high return on investment. So let's try and enjoy the little things in our life or one day we might look back and realize they were the big things. And this was a quote that I stole online. I'm definitely not claiming it to be mine at all, but I thought I'll end it with some cheesy, inspirational quote that uh, hopefully could resonate with people. This is it, everyone. Always a pleasure to serve you with content. Have a peaceful, mindful, spiritual month. Ramadan Mubarak للجميع. 
Hope you enjoyed this episode and that you were able to pick up a thing or two that could help you on your journey of growth. If you would like to hear more conversations like these, please do subscribe on YouTube or through your preferred podcast platform. You can also follow more content and get in touch with me on Instagram at one day.thepodcast. Till next time. Oh, 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 oh,